But then when I came to orientation, they made it all that I would never forget. I also am an RA in a residence hall, so I know how to relate to incoming freshmen. I also am enrolled in the leadership course right now, so I'm getting better at learning how to be a leader. I also am an Eagle Ambassador, so I know a lot of what's going around on campus. And I'm also a Screaming Eagle, so my Eagle pride is always amplified. Greetings. My name is Kenesha Seifer, a sophomore mass communication major, hailing all the way from North Augusta, South Carolina. I am a freshman resident assistant in Richmond Hall. I am a former member of the NCCU volleyball team, and I am a newly Fall 13 initiate of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I could not come in to see you because Durham is not safe. Ma'am, I'm here to ensure that Durham is safe. Your daughter needs to come to NCCU. We have campus police as well as Durham police securing our campus, making sure that all of our students are safe, as well as emergency buttons all throughout campus. So if there is a problem, you should press it. We also have where you can set up um, emergency contacts to come to your cell phone, mm -hmm. your computer, and it also calls you when there is a crime on campus. So NCCU is the right choice for your daughter. Uh, I went on a visit to NCCU today. It was good. I really liked it. Okay, and? And what? What about it? I want to go. But what about us? I mean, we can still work long distance work. That's not going to work. But I really, really want to go. But it's not going to work. But I want to go. I'm out. So you mad? Nah. <laughs> so you mad. It also has an amazing academic plan. I chose to come to NCCU because I'm a mass comm major and I felt that they had one of the best in the land. You should also come to NCCU because of Chicken Wednesday. Who else doesn't love chicken? So don't forget Eagle Pride Amplified. Truth and service. Truth and service means being truthful, honest, and having integrity, which our university stands for. We also promote service. It is a requirement for students to get 120 community service hours so that they can graduate. This helps students lengthen their resume and it also lets them have better networking skills. North Carolina Central University. What can I say about my great institution that I am in? We have great organizations throughout the campus so that the students can stay involved. We also have a family bond like no other, which is also the reason why I decided to come here to Central. And even though we are all about academics first, we also have downtime so that you can relax, such as 1040 break on Tuesdays and Thursdays in front of the union. We also have events every night held so that students can get involved with so that they can know what's going on on campus. We also have smaller classrooms so that you can have a better bond with your professor and understand the material better. Last but not least, we also have on-campus resources such as the writing studio, speaking studio, so that you can help students with everyday success gain from this experience? What do I hope to gain from this experience? I hope to gain, I hope to broaden my horizon. I also would like to be able to become a follower because you can't be a leader until you're a follower. I would also like to get more involved on campus and be more well known. And I would also like to grow as a person by the end of the summer to see the progress that I have made from the beginning. And last but not least, I would also like to better my networking skills and to become a better communication person since I am a communication major and to communicate more with my peers. To me, I define diversity as different types of people 
from different walks of lives. Diversity is more than just a race. I am an out-of-state student, so I am from South Carolina. I grew up going to a PWI, so I feel like I can relate to different people that have never got here, because when I got here to an HBCU, I had a culture shock. I also was a, a former volleyball player, and my teammates were from all different parts of the world, such as Switzerland, Jamaica, Mexico, all. So I feel like I can relate to the out-of-state students as well as international students. Come in. Sure, no problem. Okay, on Monday through Friday, breakfast will start from 7.30 to 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we also have takeout, so the students can go to takeout if they don't want to sit in the cab. Um, our lunch hours is from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And from 3 to 4 p.m., we have extended lunch hours for the students that are not able to go during 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And for dinner, the hours is from 5 to 6.30 p.m. And on Saturday and Sunday, we have our brunch special, and brunch is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., mm -hmm. and dinner is from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And our prices for breakfast are $5.31, lunch is $8.49, and dinner is $9.51. So does that help you then? It really did. Thank you so much. No Hey, you remember the other day when you were giving that parent that tour and she asked you about the degrees? <laughs> um, I meant to tell you, but I did pull her aside and I corrected you and I told her. But from now on, like, if you don't know the information, then just tell the parent I'll get back to you or I'll try my hardest to find out the information for you rather than telling the wrong information. So I did my research and we offer 78 degrees with 146 concentrations. Uh, we award 1,585 degrees and our top undergrad degree is criminal justice and our top grad is law. So just remember, if you don't know the information, then just try your best to get to the parents. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey girl, what's up with you? No, what's up with you? Okay, um, me and, and a few other the Eagle Corps members were talking, mm -hmm. and we feel like it's kind of affecting our bond with you, Billy, Johnne, and Renee. Like y'all are like always together. Y'all always have fun. Y'all have insiders, and we don't know what y'all are talking about. And I feel like we're supposed to be a team. We're supposed to create our own bond, but we don't feel open to you, like you guys, like. We don't feel welcome, and we're supposed to be working together as leaders, so we're supposed to be one unit, and I feel like we have separate units within one. So we were all wondering, like, are y'all willing to, like, open up to us and allow us to start a new friendship? Yeah, I mean, why not? All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> 